Did you know that if you date someone with autism, that you have to explain your feelings because they often can't read facial expressions? Did you know that therapists only date other therapists? This is so that there's not a power imbalance in the relationship. If your partner doesn't want children, you might want to consider reminding them that no one might be around when they're older to help out, and that 98% of nursing home residents report thoughts of suicidal ideation. Did you know that psychotherapists prescribe the number one remedy to a failing relationship as having a baby? And there's government so, uh, social services that always provide a comfortable lifestyle for those that partake in this. Love at first sight is real, but it only happens once. Did you know that your partner's love language can indicate mental illness? Most psychologists and therapists would recommend that people with two different mental illnesses should not date each other and that you should only really stick to people that have the same neuro pathways as yourself that neurodivergent people should stick with other neurodivergent people because it can lead to lots of problems in your relationship you can date someone with bipolar disorder but 50% of the time, they're going to be really mad at you. So during that 50%, it's okay to talk to maybe it's even a, another person with bipolar who's on a different cycle of their disorder. And they're happy when the other one is sad. And you can flop, flip-flop between the two. Did you know that if your partner's love language is touching, it may be considered abusive or even racist to not let them touch you? Did you know that narcissists are usually evil? In many cases, affectionate behavior can be a form of enabling. Did you know that most therapists recommend you date someone within your five inch uh, height range? This is to prevent, uh, prevent power imbalances. Did you know that people with BPD usually require some sort of counseling? Dating someone with bipolar disorder actually requires a lot of patience. Most counselors recommend that if the person doesn't get what they want, it's okay for them to cry. Did you know that people with narcissism and people with ADHD should not date each other because they both love bomb which if love bombing is um it's a variety of things but narcissists use it to gather information about you to be used at a later date so that they can hold you ransom and people with ADHD love bond you because they love you and they want to get to know you better. Always date in your salary range. With the rise of polyamorism amongst Generation Z and Millennials, a new term is being developed for this relationship called nano or nuclear relationship did you know that it's perfectly okay and normal to demand that your partner shares with you what they share with their therapist only as long as you share that information with your therapist a new study from the journal of neuropathy concluded that people with autism may have trouble acting acting normal